Okay, <clears throat> so between the videos I was actually having a little think and I've decided that we're not going to use a username on the registration form, we're just going to use the email addresses uh, to sign up with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the username at uh, the email inputs up at the um, up the top and I'm going to get rid of the um, username portion of it. So when we go to sign up this is what we're faced with. We've got two email um, inputs and we've got two password inputs followed by the term, terms and conditions. <coughs> so we also need to um, edit our database we will just get rid of um, the account name because we don't need that so we're going to need to instead of validate <coughs> the username we're going to validate the email instead and so we just take this information in the email we want um, on change so we're now validating the email as opposed to validating the username we can save that change this to email and we also want to send over a mode so we know what um, function to perform on the PHP side of things so we'll just send over validate email so back over in the register PHP page we no longer need this entire function well most of it anyway we're just going to have validate email instead <coughs> right um, instead of having our original uh, username pregmatch check I've replaced it with um, an email preg match check. Now this one's a bit more complicated. It um, first checks um, the first portion of your email address. So if we write out my email address we have this part checks this so everything before the at sign is checked um, and then anything after the at sign is then also checked so that would be that part there <coughs> followed by the final dot um, it would be dot UK or dot com or dot EU or any of the other various um, domain names that, that are out there. This is a pretty safe check. <coughs> um, obviously, it doesn't check for f uh, forged email addresses, but if it's a forged email, it's a fake email address, then um, when we send the user validation key off via email, it's obviously not going to go anywhere so the person uh, using their email address won't um, res ever receive an email <coughs> so if we get rid of that so the principles are the same if, it, if that does not match so if the email format is incorrect then 
we're just going to return email format is incorrect else um, we're going to run our query we're going to select the account ID um, from user account table where account email equals the email variable and I've got to slow down here limit one <coughs> execute the query and dump the data into the SQL variable and if SQL numrows is more than zero Jesus Christ <coughs> so if the um, number of rows is more than zero then we're going to return um, email address already present in the database else we will return pass <coughs> so if um, the function returns pass we know that the um, account is good the, the email address is fine to use if not um, then it will display one of these two error messages so what we're going to do is below our functions we're going to run a switch statement um, from the post variable of mode <coughs> and if the case is equal to that validate email then we're going to run the function validate email with that post of email in there and we're going to echo out what it returns so now if we come back over to the index if we now add the success um, portion of the Ajax query we can test this by just saying alert message <coughs> coming back over to our registration form and typing in a Duff email address and we've got email form is incorrect if we put a correct form of email we get a pass and if I go and insert insert a Duff email address here and call that up torn1 at localhost.com torn1 at localhost.com okay the problem was I was wasn't connected to the right <coughs> database I was connected to a, a different database so now we're all good 
I come in here we put in a valid um, password email address and it comes up with pass we put in a one that's already current in the database and it says the email address already present in the database all good so for the confirm email address I will um, generate this code okay so I've created a simple compare email function which takes two parameters X and Y um, inside the function we we're seeing if X equals Y if it does then um, we just alert saying pass else we alert saying emails do not match now down on the confirm email um, input text box on change I've got compare email um, this dot value which e which would uh, signify the X variable and I've got a class of JS <coughs> email dot value which signifies the Y variable and I've also assigned the first email input box a class of JS underscore email which is where we get that from so when we come over to register we input our first email and it comes up with pass if we put in something other than our email at the email address it says the emails do not match so if we take that email address and put just paste it into the confirm email and we change we click away it says pass so that's comparing the email and the confirm emails to make sure that they're correct right and just to close this video off um, and to neaten things up a bit <coughs> what I've done is after the input boxes on the email and the um, the confirm email I've added um, a break tag followed by a span um, one with a class of email out and output and one with a class of email con out and output now the output is for styling purposes so if we go back over to the CSS you can see on here I've got um, all paragraph tags inside of the register panel um, overflow auto which um, combats against div collapse when it comes to floating elements and <coughs> uh, the register panel any span classes with the output in a p in a paragraph tag inside the register panel this one's meant to be f I'm floating them uh, to the right and just adding the right, uh, margin to the right of 20 pixels and where I originally had the um, alerts come up I've changed it so um, on the validate email on the email out I have filled I fill that tech that span with the text of uh, the return message and on the compare email uh, the email con out we put them we'll just put uh, email accepted else we'll just say emails do not match so we just come back to register um, when we put in an incorrect format this is what we get just appear down at the bottom we could probably put a bit, a bit of padding at the top on that one which we'll do in a minute we get um, email address already present in the database I'll probably shrink that text size down as well. <coughs> 